So in this first clip, we have uh, HLG on the left and F log on the right. And uh, I wasn't planning on getting too deep into this, but I did, and this is the result. I have an explanation of how I process the footage at the end of the video. But if you look at both images, they are 99% close. And that is with very little tweaking that was done to the images. I haven't applied any noise reduction to any of these clips. So in this next clip, I took it outside because I wanted to see um, a wider range of colors and and a uh, greater dynamic range. And the only thing that I really notice here is that the uh, the skies are more cyan in the HLG footage. but just about everything else seems almost identical. Maybe a little higher contrast in the HLG, but that just may be uh, some minor tweaking that needs to be done. Other than that, I'm uh, very happy with the way uh, ACES processes the, um, the color transforms. And last but not least, we have a third comparison. This time we have some foliage. That's my dog in the lower left corner there. Trying to elbow in on the shot. So this one kind of uh, gives you a better idea of what shadows are going to look like between the two. And that's it. So stay tuned for the uh, written diatribe that I put in at the end to kind of give you a better idea of how I processed all this stuff. But um, I urge you to look into ACES uh, in DaVinci Resolve because it's very useful. And especially if you use different cameras for your productions. Wait for it. There are a lot of discussions in the video community about the similarities and differences between HLG and log profiles, and an even greater number of resulting opinions, preconceptions, and methodologies used in analyzing those differences, making it difficult to grasp what those differences really are. In order to better understand and perceive those differences in a practical way, I've put together a few clips that I shot both in HLG and F-Log using the Fuji X-T3 for both. The equipment remained the same between all shots, and the exposures were normalized as much as possible, though admittedly, I wasn't paying too much attention to the differences in exposure settings, but mostly trying to expose each profile properly using waveforms and false color exposure tools. The footage was then imported into ACES or ACES color encoding system environment in DaVinci Resolve for final output to Rec. 709. Some very minor tweaks were made to the footage, mostly small adjustments to the levels, contrast, and saturation to account for any variance in the original exposure during the recording. But aside from that, the footage was normalized flawlessly by ACES. In other words, ACES did away with the uncertainty of transferring the color space and gamma of each type of clip that comes with manual methods and LUTs, providing us with color space and gamma neutralized footage 
so that all the differences that remain between the shots are only the true differences between the Fuji HLG and F-Log profiles that are inherent to the way those profiles encode light information and how that information is then transformed into the end-use color space, which in this case is Rec. 709, and which can now be more clearly and honestly assessed. I hope you find this information in the subsequent video samples useful, and I look forward to seeing your comments and questions regarding the differences you see between the two profiles and any thoughts you may have about the ACES color encoding system.